Just by adding a glow to our images, we can make our game feel so much more professional, right? It's gotta be neon, it's gotta be bright. It sets an atmosphere, it sets a mood and a tone to your game. Think about something like Geometry Wars. It wouldn't be the same thing if it wasn't so flashy. And it takes like two minutes. I have an empty Unity project here. This is set up for 2D, but it doesn't matter if you're doing 2D or 3D. It's all gonna work out the same in the end. And so the first thing we actually wanna do is import a Unity package for post-processing. And so to do that, we can come up here to the Window tab in Unity and go to the Package Manager. And once this window's open, you can either scroll down or type in Post in the search and find Post-processing. We wanna click this and hit Install. It might take you a second to install, don't worry about it. Once it's finished, we can go ahead and close that window. Now that we have that package installed, we can come down to the Assets folder, and we wanna create a post-processing profile. So if you right-click on Assets and go to Create, you'll find post-processing profile in the menu now. It wasn't here before, and if you didn't install the package, you wouldn't find this. So you can give it a name. I'm gonna call this the PP Profile. Now that we have our PP Profile, we want to set up a post-processing layer, and we can actually do this on the main camera. So let's click on our main camera and go down to Add Component and do a search for Post Process Layer and add it. Underneath the component, you'll see this layer field. And if you try to add, let's say, everything to it, you'll actually get this warning saying, do not use everything or default as a layer mask as it will slow down the volume blending process, blah, 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 blah. So what we actually wanna do is create a new layer that is specifically gonna be used for post-processing effects. So if you scroll up to the top of the inspector, you'll see Layer, and we can click this and select Add Layer. And I'm just gonna create a new one called Post Processing. And then going back to the main camera, we can now select the layer. And I'll just make sure Post Processing is the one that's selected. I just imported the 64 by 64 pixel square. I'm just gonna drag this into the scene so that we can actually see what the post processing effects are gonna do. We're almost there. We actually just wanna create a post processing volume object so we can actually set up these different effects. So what we can do is right click and create empty game object. I'm gonna rename it to PP volume. We can then just move over to the layer field and select this and make sure we set it to our post processing layer we created earlier. And then once again, we can select add component and this time we wanna add the post process volume component. We'll click that. And then to configure this, we really just wanna set is global to true. And then for the profile field, we wanna drag in our PP profile. And now we're ready to start adding some effects. So let's go ahead and select add effect. We'll go down to Unity. And you can feel free to play with any of these, but the one we're interested to start glowing our objects is the bloom effect. By default, when you add an effect, it comes collapsed like this. So what you can do is actually click on this carrot to expand it. Another thing is all these different values you can tweak actually come disabled. So let's go ahead and enable the intensity. And at this point, if you click on the left-hand side of the value box, you'll notice two arrows appear. You can click and then drag and it'll increase or decrease the value. And as you slowly increase, you'll notice that it starts to have this certain glow to it, which is basically the exact effect we're looking for. So the higher you get, the more insane it is. But this is literally all it takes to do some post-processing saying bloom effect. It takes like five minutes to do this and once you do you can like change the colors of things and it will bloom appropriately. It's basically taking like the sprite or the color of the sprite and blurring it outwards and ultimately it just adds like a nice polished look to your games and adds a little bit of atmosphere. So I literally just took that square and I changed the size and color and made a scene out of it and so you know it looks whatever but then we can just add the bloom effect and without changing any of the assets and it looks like a much more polished presentation, and we haven't added anything, it's just the bloom effect. Now granted, it's just squares, so I mean, the graphics aren't incredible, but it definitely looks like you put more effort in, and like it looks more stylized. It undeniably looks cleaner. And that's not even the best part. Eventually, if you just keep turning up your intensity, you'll actually reach a point where it tells you to subscribe to my channel.